In RenderWorks, glass surfaces and other reflective materials can add a great deal of realism to a scene, whether it's the reflective quality of a material or the transparent nature of glass, these details can make a simple scene look believable and real. Even adding a small reflective detail can transform a scene and focus attention on a particular part of the image. Too much reflectivity, though, can make the scene look artificial, especially in cases where a material may, in the real world, have reflective qualities, but without the smoothness of a mirror. To help with this, we can introduce some blurriness, both with transparent materials such as glass and reflective surfaces such as mirrors. In an earlier chapter, we talked about the fact that textures can be made up of four types of shaders, color, reflectivity, transparency, and bump. Blurriness is a component available with some of the reflectivity and transparency shaders. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. This chapter's file is a model of a room containing two sculptural objects. The sphere on the right uses a reflective texture that simulates chrome, and the rectangular object on the left uses a transparent texture that simulates glass. Before starting, we'll render in final quality render works. In the first example, we'll add blurriness to the chrome reflective texture. First, select the chrome sphere object and then find the object's texture in the resource manager. So we'll right click on the sphere object on the right. In the context menu, we'll select locate overall texture in resource manager. And then in the resource manager, the texture called chrome sculpture will be highlighted. Now we'll edit the texture to add blurriness to the reflectivity shader. We'll right click on the texture and select edit. Then click on the reflectivity shader edit button. And in the blurriness data box, enter 15 and then click OK. And now click OK to finalize the action and we'll re-render in final quality render works. And notice how the chrome reflective sphere on the right now shows blurred reflections. The same process can be used with other textures that use reflectivity shaders, such as stone or concrete floors, for example. In the second example, we'll add blurriness to a transparent glass texture. So we'll select the rectangular glass object on the left and then find the object's texture in the resource manager. So we'll right click on the rectangular object on the left in the context menu, we'll select Locate Overall Texture in Resource Manager. And then in the Resource Manager, the texture will be highlighted. It's called Glass Clear 3. Now we'll edit the texture and add blurriness to the transparency shader. So we'll right click on the texture and select Edit. Then we'll click on the transparency shader Edit button. In the blurriness data box, we'll enter 5 and then click OK. And now click OK to finalize and then we'll re-render in final quality render works. Notice how the rectangular object now shows a blurred view through the glass even though the reflectivity shader for this glass texture was left untouched and the reflections are still sharp and this suggests a frosted glass with a polished front surface. And the same process can be used with other textures that use transparency shaders, such as windows, for example, with frosted glass. So the transparency in the glass is now blurred. And if we want to make the reflection in the glass blurry as well, we can add blurriness to the glass texture's reflectivity shader in the same way as we did with the chrome sphere. So we'll right click on the rectangular object on the left. And in the context menu, we'll select locate overall texture in resource manager as we did before and then in the resource manager the texture will be highlighted it's called again glass clear 3 now we'll right click on the texture and select edit and then click on the reflectivity shader edit button and now in the blurriness data box we'll enter 8 and then click OK and then finally we'll click OK to finish the action and then we'll re-render in final quality render works. One last item, if you're rendering in custom render works or if you're creating your own render work style, both of these need to be set up to display blurriness. With custom render works, go to view rendering custom render works options 
and in the custom render works options window select both the textures checkbox and the blurriness checkbox with the render work styles open the edit render work style dialog box and then under the options tab in the textures category select both the textures and the blurriness checkbox